everybody, my name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Life is Strange. Do we have any guesses for whether or not Max has her rewind powers? Actually, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. In the last episode, we actually figured out that the... Wow, she looks like she's, like, flat. She has no body mass to her at all. Um, we, we're in a different timeline now because of some things we changed. Now Chloe cannot move, essentially. She's in a wheelchair. Everything sucks. Um, I'm a party girl now, which is weird. And, uh, yeah, let's see if we can rewind in time. <gasps> we can! No way. Alright. So, uh, that's a thing, apparently. Let's use a Kleenex, shall we? Thanks. I, uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Aw, everything's so sad. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. Oh, it's I like see. That Chinese proverb: a spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like butterfly thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> can we change time yet? I want to go back to the old timeline. See what's in she here. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Jesus, what? did I have access to these drawers before? Medical supplies. Uh huh. It's in the bathroom. Uh, obviously, it's gonna be in here somewhere. Okay. So uh, I feel like it's gonna be in the left one. So let's try the. Or, I feel like it's gonna be in the right one. So let's try the left one. Uh, here's the. Dang key. it! What's in this one? Oh my god! I made that Aww. mix for her when we were twelve. Read. Oh, okay. <clears throat> it takes me a second to always get used to it. When I thought I clicked on read, I expected it to be like read more details, but. Oh, I should probably put it in the DVD player. Hey, Chloe, can you put this in the DVD player for me? Thanks. Uh, I gotta, like, figure out a way to look at her photo albums or something and try again. I've never seen Blade Runner. I hear it's a really good movie. I just haven't watched it. <coughs> Use like a freaking couch in here or something. Oh, something weird is about to happen. This is an awkward feeling. <laughs> now, other people talk before the movie actually starts, but not them two. Do they both fall asleep? That'd be adorable. And it looks like we did. Now who's the one who falls asleep? If Clay was awake and I was the one who fell asleep. Oh, the irony. Oh, that is totally what happens. What a hard life it must be. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? <laughs> I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have another in front of me. Don't treat her. Sleep on me. Yeah, as I say, don't treat her like a baby. In the morning. It's the company I keep. Can we change this everything was now? Such a blast. No, it, was it wasn't. Seeing it sucked. Everything sucks. Everything's, everything's the worst. When we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forest. That's and what the old timeline was. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Ah! <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh. Can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, okay. My parents keep this bag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm like on a it. pirate. So I can't get your parents to do this. I'm confused. Why am I doing this, huh? Why am I grabbing mysterious drugs when you have? Oh no! Okay. Okay, um, 
I, it's really easy to accidentally hit the freaking <gasps> button. Oh, she's her room's here now. Makes sense. Duh, I should have realized that. Hello, papers. Damn. Oh, no. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Holy, $8,587. That is a lot of money. I flipped tower. That's great. They finally went to Paris. Oh, yeah. But what do you want? Max Circle, just want to make sure since you walked away so fast, Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk to me, hit me up, K. Okay? Max, if you're mad, just tell me, K. Okay? Jesus, two minutes later? Sign silence. So if you want to talk to my brothers, open love you. It's weird. Now she's all over my dick. It's an old TV. Giant expensive oh, HDTV, good point, yeah. And they use our shitty tube television. Everything's so weird. No butterfly, because I'm an idiot. They These it. whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Rachel uh, Amber is even oops. missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Mm. Oh, it's not related to Chloe that she disappeared then. Where is this press? The Prescott Foundation has vowed to provide extra research funds given by the, given the local scope of the... Okay, so Prescott's are good people in this. This timeline. Their own home taken away because of medical bills. Mm. That's terrible. Dear Mr. Price, let her notify that you are in the default of your payment obligations on your home loan account number seven or seven eight three. This current account holds amongst twelve thousand dollars payable by August first, twenty thirteen. This amount has been long overdue since March first, two thousand nine. Holy, and you have ignored multiple requests to make a payment or reconsolidate your debt. Unless your full amount of 12000 received within 15 days, we must begin the foreclosure process on your home. We have given you more than adequate notice on this issue, and we have no other options left. Best Donald Clamp lenders. That's crazy. Good lord. Twelve that Yeah, I could just... I just have $12,000 I could just hey, throw. Sit for the 15 Am days. You? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. I haven't <laughs> aged a day. It's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. Oh, so why thank you. Care. Okay. What do we got here? Paris trip. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was <laughs> a great lame. experience. Especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. I wonder when this accident and happened with her. For going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. Hmm. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. Yeah, expensive high equipment. You could buy a few yeah. mansions for what it all costs. Insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. Mm. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Price is always right. <laughs> no comment. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Um, yeah, I'm she sure she's mad. For not staying in touch. She should be. Th I think she'd be I more disappointed no than anything. She was disappointed. Yeah, there you go. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. Okay, Ryan, so it's happened all these years ago. I just want you to know that whatever happens... I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Joyce. Being around you. I feel like something bad happened with Joyce. So nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy too. <clears throat> so it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. It's weird that I'm talking to a dead man. I'm curious about the, the Prescott, Prescott family. family. Might be bad news. What do you think about that? Oh, they're silent. Evil. They're not. Next oh, question. Okay, maybe they're evil. Like you know them well. More than I want to. 
but Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. Ah, there we go. I don't to think about she it. She lost her diner. I, f I knew something. I figured, she, I was going to say, maybe she did lose her diner, but Nathan texted me saying we should go to the, the whatever, the, the restaurant. I two was reading about two that whales, girl. something. Rachel Amber. Oh, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Nah, you're fine. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I have to oh, go see man. if Chloe needs anything. Yep. It was so great talking, talking about the again. weather while she's getting she really went, bad head the pains. Last time. And please Aww. keep me from these bills whenever you want. That's sad, man. You are literally a dead man. I mean, given the chance, I'm good. If it gives me the chance, either to live in this timeline or the old one. Now it's back to cookies. Yeah. Choices of food coupon boss. Cool. Um. Yeah, given the choice, I'm gonna have to uh, kill him. I'm sorry, I don't want to. And I, I, I agree that having both of them alive and Chloe in a wheelchair is probably better morally to do. But you know, you gotta take into account that it makes more Jason sense. Like, William never had a garage sale before. Garage sale? I, I've had plenty of garage sales. I love them. <laughs> They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Mm. Such bullshit. Georgia has been closed and is now six months overdue. Please send a check or money or for $3,458 payable to Happy Credit Card. God dang. Due to the recent state and federal cuts, we regret to inform you that health insurance no longer covers Chloe's physical rehab. We can reinstate Chloe at a standard rate of twelve fifty per week. Dang. Um, insurance is worthless, says Chloe's dad in the background. But yeah, like, oh wow, ooh, this place is, ooh, I don't, I don't think anyone ever comes up here very often. Since I'm moldy, Apparently gross. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. That's not true. Rachel Amber's still missing. I believe that's the bathroom. No, that's someone's room. Joyce's room. Oh, naked. Joyce is naked. Oh, Joyce is. <laughs> Why did I knock? Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Shut your face! I'm looking at this picture. Paris. They have no Bro, not idea Paris. <laughs> in the future. Uh, they look very different. William and Chloe. What? Oh. Oh, that's when she was pregnant. I see. Okay. I was going to say, she did look kind of weirdly William's shaped. trying so hard. Super bad. He's still awesome. That's so sad. Ah. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> Two dots and a little smiley face. <coughs> That's hilarious. Oh, more bills. Oh, no. Do you miss... I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Do you miss your Mrs. Price? As we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This, this accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand that... The reality that respiratory failure is a common people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want his parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should be made aware of the changing condition. If you would like to discuss this father, you have my contact information. God dang, so in other words, she's going to die. She's going to die. I wonder if she's aware. I doubt it. Joyce is already a super mom. <laughs> super mom, super dad. Doesn't she always call her super mom anyways? No, I want Ashtray. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Yeah, I figured I was going to get a line like that. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. Look at her teeth now all gross from smoking. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Oh, uh, about Chloe. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Mm-hmm. When she's dying, Chloe needs help. 
Who helps Chloe out when you oh. guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's mm. condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she, she... Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, no. Can you please explain to me? I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. That's so sad. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. Um, I just can't imagine, like, you know, this situation where not only, like, is, like, your daughter is not only, like, a horrible state of existence... But she's slowly dying in front of your own eyes, and you can't do any dang thing about it. the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. What the heck would you even do? It's like she's sitting here reading something. It's like, do something! But there's nothing she could do. David Madsen. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? Nope, she does not. He um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, <laughs> I, w I was just... Cute. Curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Ah, things will. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I bet you I are. To take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay mm -hmm. away from his son, Nathan. <laughs> We're not best friends or anything. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco traffic? <clears throat> Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, get out of here, all you peoples. Too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. <laughs> yeah, no now time to. We have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. I feel about the dead birds. So maybe I should care for Chloe's sake. Yeah. Well, I, I have am. To tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such again. a again through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Yeah, it's... Is William still the same after? Oh no, he's a shell of who he used to be, but he for puts on. And for worse. Oh, really? But always for the better. I I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. Hmm. Sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to <laughs> It's good talking with you, Joyce. It really was. Too, honey. I'm sorry if this is boring when I go through every option possible with someone, but you know that's that's Building the world up and the the power cut out. Geez, fix your crab. It's Can't even pay your electrical bill. Good God. But it's world building, you know, and this entire game is based like around world building, so it makes complete sense that I do that. I'm sorry if you guys find it boring. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay. You could just Isn't skip it? ahead in the video if you don't like it so much. Uh what was the bathroom? It's not going there quite yet. Could we go in the Chloe's room? Oh we can, cool. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Nope. See how different it is. Weird. I wonder how, how much of this episode we're gonna... We're gonna be in this timeline. So I don't think... Like, I think we're still gonna make it back somehow, right? We gotta. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Nope. Blue butterfly is Chloe. <clears throat> Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me up there in Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm so sorry that I can't, can't help you with a loan at this time. Like everyone else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. Aunt Dorothy. What's that? They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Aw, nope. Toys. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. All right, do it. Toys? Aww. I kind of want to. I bet this everyone does that. Clothes, shoes. shoes. Oh my God, shoes. 
Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Another Bill, never maybe? Heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident work has been piling up. Uh, piling up and... Let's just redo this. Piling up and I've been sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. Where we have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you in the next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hanging there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. Poopies. I, uh... Here, let's, let's finish looking at everything first. I guess we stopped growing up together. Oh, yeah. Wait, really? I was going to say, maybe both Chloe and, uh... Uh, Max were both on this chart before, maybe? I'm not sure. But at least we never had to hide from Step Douche. <laughs> Alright, sit for seconds. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. Yeah, I would imagine. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive. That would be very cruel. Be cruel. And we both know what her decision would be. But then I see that they're a family again. And who am I to judge? That is true. I didn't consider that. That's always, I think that's going to be the big choice this episode. I do want to say while we're sitting down here... After playing episode 3, Chaos Theory, I realized something. I'm really sad that this game is kind of coming to a close. Like, you know how, you know if you, like, watch a TV series for, like, a month or, like, years, and it's finally coming to last season, and it's finally, like, a couple episodes away, and you finally finish it, and you feel super sad and depressed, because it's like, this was such a good story, I don't want it to end. It's bittersweet, you know? That's how I felt with this game after playing episode 3 Chaos Theory. I was starting to feel sad, like, two episodes before the game even ends, because I'm like, I don't want this story to end, this story is so good. It's so good! So I just, I just wanted to, just wanted to say that, because I was thinking about it for a while. And, uh, yeah, let's, um, oh, okay, we're not, we don't have anything anymore. I'm also assuming we're not going to be here for very long based on all of these. I, all the, I don't think we'd be filling all these in. Like, they're all very generic looking, too. I don't remember what they were before, before we filled them in. I don't know if they were also looking this generic, but, uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Um, in the next one, we'll get Chloe's medicine and then we'll go back to her. And I'm hoping we will soon go back to the real reality, the other timeline, the proper timeline. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!